Hi, I'm PC747, and I run a blog and channel dedicated to talking about tech and how it's ingrained in our everyday lives. So this upload right now is geared towards YouTube TV. For a lot of you out there, we just heard that yet again YouTube TV is going to be increasing their prices. They're going to be raising it up to pretty much $50 a month. Now, the reason why they're doing this is because, according to them, they want to add more channels. And I understand why they're doing that. But, like a lot of you, I decided to cut the cord for a number of reasons. For one, I just got tired of all the channels that came with Big Cable. You know, there were a bunch of channels that I never subscribed to, never really wanted. But in order to have my sports or whatever I wanted to, I had to buy into all these channels. And as a result... I had a big cable bill. And so like you, we cut the cord because we got tired of it. We got tired of this company, this big industry, making billions off the fact that they got to decide what we should be wanting to watch. They decided what channels I should watch. And forced a package that I didn't want to really subscribe to. So we cut the cord. Now the first time I cut the cord, it was a challenge. We were trying to figure out how to still gather or watch my sports and enjoy some football games without having cable. And it was kind of tough. Now, along came companies like Sling TV that geared to make this a little bit easier for us by allowing us to stream sports as well as other channels. But along the way, they lost their way. Sling TV decided to continue adding more and more channels to the point where they kept raising their prices and started making packages that was geared more towards something that I didn't want. A result that, yeah, they lost their way. They became the big cable company I left. And now here we are on the verge of having this happen yet again. So let's start with YouTube as I want to talk to you first. Now I understand why are you adding channels. Look, not everybody wants sports. There are people who are probably hitting you up and saying, I want more of these channels. Give me some more learning channels. Give me more discovery channels. Why have you added this channel? So I can understand trying to bring as many channels as possible to appease a broad range of customers. And I applaud you for making that decision. I understand, not everybody are the same. In fact, I say use that to your advantage. You know that we are not the same. In fact, you can channel that from your parents' company model that was brought out or put out there when they had their commercial for their smartphone. Be the same, but different. Or we are the same but different. And that's the case for a lot of us. I understand for me, who is a big sports fan, I'm going to be wanting more and more of those sports channels. Where someone else may not want that. And this is where you have the opportunity to be much different from everyone else. Be different from the big cable companies we left. By providing that one thing that people have been begging for for a while. A streaming company that allow the customers to choose what they want. And not so much the company choosing for us. Again, I applaud you adding more channels. In fact, I would like to see you add more. Such as NFL Network and a couple other channels that you can add to there. But I also understand that just because I want NFL Network and more sports channels, that don't mean some of these subscribers you have want that. And just because they may want more of the cartoon channels for their kids, that may be or may not be what I want at this point in my life. So this is what I'm asking or proposing for you guys. Because it's easy to just criticize and say, you know, you guys need to make a change. But instead of doing that, maybe I can kind of appeal to you. A, a way to make this 
a solution for the broader range of people. So instead of being like big cable and shoving down a cable package down our throat, why not offer a base package that starts with the local channels and then allow the customers to choose what they want. So for me, who may want just nothing but a bunch of sports channels, let me choose the channels I want. And the same could be for others. But not kind of like what Sling did. Because the way Sling TV did it was, was not working. Where they kind of just, either you can have the sports or you can have this and try to put it in a way where it wasn't really beneficial for everyone. I'm thinking more of a, a pay-per-channel basis, where those that want more channels can pay for more channels. But those that may want a particular set of channels, they can choose which channels they want. Where I may want a couple of ESPNs, but may not care so much for the Fox Sports News or the CNBCs or MSNBC or whatever. I can choose not to add those channels. And vice versa. Where the customer could go down a list of channels, and they can choose what they want to add and what they want to leave off. And I think for the broader range of people, this would be more appealing. Because there are some people who do want a lot of channels. Who are looking for a package that appeal to their entire family base. Especially since they're sharing it with their entire family. So it makes sense for them to want more and more channels. But someone else who really are not big in a TV except for a certain sports or a sort a certain show or something like that. They can create a package that is more geared towards them. I know this is not going to be easy. If it was easy, other companies probably would have done this longer or earlier. But this is where you being a part of a bigger company, Google, can take this opportunity to create something that is different. And in doing so, I think you will find that a lot of people will continue to gravitate towards you. And you will do something that other companies cannot do. Provide a package that core cutters really been asking for. Where they can choose and they have the choice of what they want to watch. Versus the choice being cho chosen for them. And to my fellow scribes out there who like me, are tired of seeing this continue to happen. Seeing these streaming companies turn into the same big cable companies we left. Don't just continue to just take it and say, I'm tired of it and just let it go. Use every avenue you have to voice your displeasure of this. Twitter, Facebook, Google Play Store, Apple's App Store. You have a number of areas where you can voice how you feel. And please use all of them, as well as the feedback that is a part of the YouTube TV. Call up Google. Email Google. Every opportunity you have to voice that not only do you not like that they continue to raise the price to a point where we're going right back to the same big cable companies we left. But offer solutions of a way that, yeah, this is what we want to see of the company, uh, of, of YouTube TV. This is where we want to see this company go. And if they're willing to go there, we're willing to continue paying for that. So all we're asking basically is, instead of you, YouTube TV, choosing for us, we want the opportunity to choose for ourselves. That's all we've been asking for as far as when it comes to a streaming company. It just it seems like all these streaming companies out there that are now a dime a dozen, they seem to miss the big picture. They seem to miss why we left Big Cable in the first place. Either that or they don't care. Either that they don't care or they see that this is an opportunity for them to continue to get their pack, uh, pockets fat by just... Box us in the corner where no matter whether we go left or go right, we have no way to go. And this could be you as well, YouTube. I hope it's not. Because I've enjoyed using your service. And I've recommended your service to a number of people. And I feel that out of all the streaming companies out there, this is 
probably the best option out there. But I got to admit, it started to get to the point where I'm not feeling that way anymore. Because the company that I felt that finally got it right, is starting to get it wrong. They go in a direction that we've been trying to avoid going back for a while. They're missing the point of what it means to be a cord cutter. So, to all of you out there who are tired of this, make sure to voice your opinion. And hopefully, we can see a change. And if not, I'm pretty sure a company will come along that will provide the the service that we're asking for. And when that happens, well, YouTube, if you haven't listened to your customers, I'm pretty sure your customers will respond when they decide to leave you. So right now, you have the opportunity to make a change, a change that can really benefit you in the long run. But if you choose not to make that change, somebody will. Anyway, this is PC747. Hopefully, like a lot of you, we do see the change with YouTube TV. I'm out.